Do you know what DEX is? Samsung DEX? Well, if you're watching this video, then maybe you're interested to know more about the technology that transforms your Galaxy smartphone into a full-fledged computer. But around YouTube, you can usually see extreme and most expensive setup for your DEX workstation. But in Sydney CBD Repair Center, we present to you the most practical way you can delve into the world of DEX and create the most practical DEX workstation you can make. The phone that we're going to use is a Samsung Galaxy S8. If you're planning to use your Google Pixel or your iPhone with this, with Samsung DeX, well, bad news for you. It only supports a limited number of flagship devices from Samsung, from your S8 to your latest Note 10. I'm not going to bore you about the specs of this device because if you're watching this in the future the Samsung Galaxy S8 will be an obsolete device already next is we need your Samsung deck station this one was released together with your Galaxy S8 some have moved on with the different design but this one is a circular design that pops up when you press on the portion with an arrow and shows off the type c connector at the back you have the type c for the power full hdmi and ethernet port you don't have wi-fi you have a usb type a and another one so you can connect your peripherals or your USB devices this is the bottom this is the top so if you're wondering if this also acts like a speaker nope this one is a fan to keep your Samsung device from overheating while using it as a desktop you connect it by popping up the cover and then attaching your smartphone on top so it will be cradled at an angle so if you're planning to attach the deck station on a wall it won't be possible because it will put a strain a lot of strain on this type c port next we have our keyboard and mouse well if you have a backup an old one in your attic you can get it as long as it has usb type a this mouse is an old one you don't really need to have a wireless peripheral setup but if you want you can have it this keyboard is around 20 bucks 10 bucks used And the monitor that we're going to use is a very old TV with an HDMI port. You can use your computer monitor if you have one. If you have one that has a VGA or DVI, you can still connect it with DEX. Just buy an adapter from your computer store or online shops. This is a power adapter that powers your DEX station. You can't really use other power adapters because DEX will require a lot of power. You will also need an HDMI cable. So you're going to attach them all at the back. Same with your type B, type C cable for the power. This is for the mouse. So if you have wireless mouse with a single dongle, that would be very nice. You can also save space and declutter your 
table. So this is how it looks like. All four cables will be attached at the back and then you can just shove them on at the back of your TV, but not really at the back because you also will need to have access to your phone just in case. Just tidying it up. You can be fancy as you want by keeping the cable neatly at the back or under the table. Then we'll just set it up like a typical workspace. And don't forget your mouse pad. And there you go. Just plug them all in, the TV and this, this uh, deck station. And then you can just attach your smartphone. Don't worry, your smartphone will be charged as long as it's connected with your deck station. And there you go. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is supported by DeX, so it will be detected by the DeX station. If you try to plug in your Google Pixel or other Type-C devices, it will be just charged and not be taken to the DeX interface. So there you have it. Very cheap, very practical setup. And then you're ready to go. You don't have to be fancy to start working with DeX. You can just take the most basic stuff just as long as it's supported with the deck station. This only proves that even if with an older device, you can still have some fun with Samsung decks. Till next time guys, cheers.